Canadian Campaholic here on a very sunny and warm Wednesday. I hope the noise from the air conditioning is not too loud and I hope the weather wherever you are is just as nice. We had one of the coldest Aprils on record and now it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, today I'm just heading over to the storage facility just to do a little bit of an inspection on the trailer um, and to do a little bit of preventative maintenance. The theme for today is mice. Uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that mice and water ingress, two worst enemies of any kind of camper, whether it's a, a pop-up, a hybrid, a travel trailer, a fifth wheel, doesn't matter. Uh, so preventing mice from, A, getting into your trailer, but also, um, you know, working to make the inside of your trailer less than hospitable are two very good things. Uh, mice droppings, when they dry, can be very hazardous to your health, carry a lot of disease, can make you very, very sick, especially if you have uh, kids or... Um, older people staying with you. Um, not only that, the mice will chew through fabrics, uh, mattresses, cushions, and they'll eat into wiring, which will cause all kinds of problems. Um, you know, you could have a fire. Um, if you don't have a fire, then it can be very costly and expensive and stressful to fix the damage that those little bastards uh, will make. Um, the reason that I am um, prepping the trailer and making sure it's mouse free is because there was a nasty disgusting old house trailer uh, two spots down for me that looked like it had been sitting there since the 70s and I'm fairly convinced that there was a uh, you know several generations of mice living in there somebody bought it fixed it up put new wheels on it and dragged it out of there the other day um, so I just want to be cautious we did have a rodent problem not long after we bought the trailer brand new I suspect they got in from the storage facility um, and so we took the usual preventative measures in the winter to uh, prevent mice getting in but I would like to um, sort of top that up a little bit so that's what this video is all about. Now where I think they were getting in is actually over on this side of the trailer. I think they were getting in through the door to your shore power connection. This is your 30 amp um, power cord connection. You've got the main uh, door here, but you've also got this little small sliding door. Let me see if I pop that open. So basically when you're at the campsite, you open this up, pull the entire cord out, once the cord is out, you can then put the door back down and then the actual 30 amp cord can fit through this opening. I think what was happening was this little sliding door here um, was moving and it was allowing the mice to get in. Now you'll notice there's steel wool in there. Steel wool is one of the few things that mice will not chew through. A lot of people will recommend you do that for winterization. Honestly, I keep it in there all the time when we're not camping. Um, I realize this little bit of tape's probably not much of a uh, deterrent, but again, I think this is where the mice were coming in. There are other products that you can buy that will wrap around the wheel. Uh, I've seen people make metal shields to keep the mice out. That's a very involved process. But what we'll do now is we'll go inside the trailer and talk about what we can do to make it a less than hospitable place for mice to come and visit. Okay, so here we are inside the trailer. Let's spend a couple of minutes talking about what can you do inside the trailer to make it a hostile environment, shall we say. There's different repeller products. We're not going to talk about those. There's some that are sonic, that are battery powered, or they have to be powered by 110. Uh, those are rather expensive. When we discovered that we had mice in this trailer last fall, I resorted to some less than expensive and uh, more traditional methods. So, um, we'll talk about the traps in a minute. Got a couple of things in my bag of tricks here. The first item, that is peppermint extract. Pure peppermint extract. This is a clubhouse brand peppermint and mint extract. If you can get peppermint oil, that's even better. Pure peppermint oil is great. The issue with the peppermint oil is it evaporates very quickly. And when you buy it, it's in, um, this is a fairly decent sized bottle. When you buy the peppermint extract, or the pure um, uh, peppermint oil rather, it's in a much smaller bottle. When you try and dab it onto something like a um, cotton ball like this, 
it has a tendency to go everywhere it has a tendency to evaporate quickly so um, basically what you're looking for is the scent mice apparently hate the smell of peppermint so that's one uh, item and basically you just want to um, you know partially soak some cotton balls put them in any of the compartments and spaces where you don't want the mice to be or where you think the mice uh, may be hiding out so we've got um, some of this stuff around the water pump we've got it uh, around the hot water tank we've got it under the back bunk um, and some under the bench where I'm sitting right now the theory was the mice were getting in through the power door that I showed you earlier they would made a nest in a blanket under my seat here so any area where I know the mice can definitely get to um, that's one option uh, by the way if you go to a bulk food store typically it's gonna be a lot cheaper um, than if you go to uh, any of the major retailers the other thing that I picked up at my local bulk food store are these cloves you don't want ground cloves you want whole cloves and they have a very pungent smell and that might bug some people but if you sprinkle a few of these and you really don't need a lot in the different spaces where you want the mice to stay out of uh, or where you think they might get access this again is a, a real great idea uh, if you go online there's all kinds of other uh, homemade remedies and recommendations of things to get rid of mice but these two the uh, peppermint oil or the peppermint extract and the cloves uh, very good product and uh, we put a bunch of this in the trailer in the winter the scent lingered for quite a long time I, I think I topped up the cotton balls maybe twice over the course of five months but when we opened up the trailer in the spring and I've been inspecting it every few weeks but when we opened it up in the spring um, it was quite a fresh smell in here so so absolutely nice ideally if you're successful with this if you plug any openings where they could get in um, with the uh, steel wool uh, and again that is o o o o or quadruple o i'm not sure what the proper term is but it's the finest grain of uh, grade of steel wool you can get uh, that is is fantastic this also like i said helps um repel them so you can see i've got the different compartments open you can see the dryer sheets there that we used last fall you can see some of the old cloves that are there um, I'm going to add to that eventually I will sweep those out or vacuum those out uh, but I'm going to just uh, top those up I'm under the bunk here I'm around the water heater down here I've just removed the wooden panels and also around the water pump and again you can see uh, some of the uh, cotton balls and the clothes from last year I've uh, topped up using the extract uh, I'm going to refresh the peanut butter and sprinkle some more cloves and then button everything back down it's important that you keep these covers on as well that's something else I should mention because if you leave it open so it's easier for you to inspect you're making the rest of the trailer very accessible to the mice now I realize they can get their head through anything the size of a nickel or even a dime um, but I'm a little old-fashioned preventative maintenance you know keep those covers screwed in place as best as you can um, and at least that will minimize hopefully where the mice can go but what if they do get in what if for some reason uh, they don't bother with the smell well I hate to say it folks and I don't want to offend any animal rights activists but traps really are the next best thing um, I don't believe in poisons I think it's dangerous especially having children in the trailer plus the fact if the the mouse does eat the poison and dies then you've got this decomposing mouse in the trailer to deal with which is really kind of gross uh, there are more humane traps than these there are some that are like a live trap that will capture them and then you can release them there are traps that use electricity to kill them uh, these are just a good old-fashioned uh, you know predator trap you place, place uh, some bait there and I use um, peanut butter and uh, the mouse uh, when it touches this little part here it snaps down and it, it kills them instantly I realize that's cruel I realize that's disheartening um, but uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video fire damage uh, potentially you know that's catastrophic uh, mouse droppings that are very bad for your health um, it's just all around bad news uh, if you get mice in the trailer so I'm here today um, we are into the spring now so I'm gonna refresh the cloves I'm gonna refresh the peppermint oil I'm gonna scrape out the peanut butter in the traps that I have to make sure that it's good and fresh um, and uh, we should really hopefully be uh, mouse free it's less of a risk when the weather's warm it's a bigger problem uh, in the winter months I'm here today because there was a nasty old house trailer that used to be near us here in the storage facility and somebody uh, fixed it up and took it away I suspect that was a home for a lot of those little uh, furry guys so I want to be here to uh, 
do some preventative maintenance. One last thing I'll mention, and then we'll wrap things up, dryer sheets. Um, that is another method that a lot of folks like. I also use that um, throughout the entire trailer, actually. Uh, dryer sheets. I've heard people say Irish Spring Soap as well. So lots of different alternatives. I will say that initially when we had rodents in the trailer, we caught uh, four of them, and they were disposed of humanely. Um, and we have not, knock on wood, <laughs> had another mouse in the trailer since. So... Hope you found these tips useful, and I hope that you're finally getting a chance to get out there and camp. Please uh, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Happy camping.